we're going to be talking about makeup today i'm actually going to be doing my makeup showing you how i do my everyday makeup which i've done before but i'm going to be doing it using a whole range of makeup i've never used before everything is from armani here's the thing I think I'm like the only person on the earth who's never tried anything from Armani. And the reason for that is, is that when it comes to makeup, I'm quite a simple girl. If I find makeup that works for me, whether it's foundation or eyeshadow or a brow product, I don't necessarily go and try and look for something better. It was about three weeks ago, Harrods got in touch with me. They were like, do you want to come in and try Armani makeup? I thought, well, there are actually some products in the Armani line that I wanted to look at anyway. One of them everyone keeps telling me about was the mascara. So I go along on the day, this was on the ground floor in Harrods and the girls there on the counter did my makeup. I actually met a subscriber in the middle of it all. It was like a very surreal day and it was so nice to meet you. They were then kind enough to send me the items that they used on me and I'm gonna show you them so that you can make your own judgment. Some of the items I like, some of the items I don't like and I'll explain why. The actual overall look is one that I wear every day anyway, just normally from different brands. Before applying foundation, what I have on my face is items from the skincare and the, the primer range that they sent me. And actually, out of everything they sent me, this is my favourite. The skincare range, everything in white packaging is for daytime, and then they have a range in black packaging for evening. These things, you can use as many or as few of these items together as you want, depending on your skin. So I've used their SPF 50 primer, also their Glow On Moisturising Balm, and their product for around the eyes and to hydrate lips. The next thing I'm gonna do, which I'm really excited about, is put on the foundation. The first thing I'm noticing is it's not as, um, I wouldn't even class NARS Sheer Glow to be full coverage anyway, but it's not as, um, it's not as heavy as the NARS one. It's got a really nice smell to it. NARS just doesn't really smell of anything. This has got like a slight, a slight perfume to it. Feels hydrating. But as I mentioned, I've got combination skin, dry and oily, and it just feels, it doesn't feel like it's gonna, it doesn't feel overly greasy, it doesn't feel overly dry, it just feels nice. I'm gonna use this, which is called Sun Fabric Sheer Bronzer. They've sent me colours 400, and it, oh, it's so pretty. Look at that, it looks so nice. This doesn't look quite dark enough for what I normally do. I normally use Hula by Benefit. So this is Hula here, and what, what's really nice about Hula, it's got like a real cool tone to it. Can you see the difference? The brush though, the brush looks like it's gonna be really good for this. So I don't do, I don't do like anything sort of crazy in terms of the contour. Oh, it's nice, it's got a mirror in it, okay. Pat the bronzer under my cheekbone, but I sort of come into like the edge of my eye with it. Do you know what I mean? Like in line with that, I don't like go way in. And then I go just under here. If you've got like a large forehead like me, what you do is you go around the edge and you kind of create like <laughs> the illusion of a smaller forehead. Yeah, the color, I like the, the consistency of this bronzer, but the color is too warm for me. They've sent me this which is one of those eyeshadows that is liquid and you blend it. And I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I'm gonna try it. It is in the color, the color's actually really nice. The color is something I would wear. And it's in number 10. And let's try. I'm gonna start with like a small amount. See, this is why I wouldn't go for this. If you want something really quick, then you probably would like this, but I just, I feel like I'm in more control when I use a brush on my eyeshadows. Feeling like it's quite hard to work with because it's dried, I don't know if you can see, it's dried a bit darker there, and because it's now dry, it's harder to, well, I can't really blend it. Right, I'm gonna put some more on. The concept, to me, of blending in your eyeshadow with your finger is just so foreign. I'm gonna try and use a brush just to smooth it out a bit. I think I could actually work with this, and I do like the colour. You could build that up to get like a darker, smokier eye, but I just want something quite light. Before I finish the rest of the eyes, I'm gonna set the um, the, con the concealer that I put on, the lighter colour. And this, okay, so what they've sent me here is Luminous Silk Compact Dual Use Powder, and 
It's got the powder on the top there and then you lift it up and there's a sponge underneath. I'm actually not going to use the sponge. I would use the sponge if I was out and about, but I'm gonna do my makeup as I would normally do it. And then what else have we got? Eyeliner and waterproof eye pencil. So on this, it's got one end with the pencil and then on the other end it's got a sponge so you can blend it blend it out uh, this is what i was really looking forward to trying this is the eyes to kill eyeliner i i pretty much always wear um like winged eyeliner and i've always used the guerlain eyeliner that comes in a little pot i've used it since 2010 it's in my opinion it's the best eyeliner it's quite expensive, but on the other side of the coin, it actually lasts quite a long time. You get a lot in that pot. But this was something I was interested to test. Now, this is not typically an applicator that I like. I don't like the applicators that have got like a felt tip end to them because I prefer a brush. Already, I don't love it. It's doing that thing where it, as you drag it, it doesn't leave any of the ink sort of thing and it skips and adds little bumpy bits to your eye. I'm not loving it. Actually, you know what? I'm sort of making a mess with it. Oh, you're making me angry. Can you see what I mean? I've made a right mess there. In order to correct the, the lumpy bits, I'm having to make the line even thicker. As always, when you draw on your hand, it's fine. But when you try it on your eye, it's just not. I'm gonna move on to mascara. Loads of you recommended this to me. This is the Instant High Volume and Definition Mascara, which when I tried in the shop, I was like, wow. Okay, this is better than Yves Saint Laurent, the, you know, the one that, what is it, full slash effect or whatever. Oh, it's good. This is good. The one thing I'm noticing as well is I find with mascaras, when they're new, they're rubbish. You normally have to sort of have used them for a couple of days before they really come into their own. This is good straight off. I really like this. If you like really thick, really long lashes, then I can definitely recommend. That is good mascara. I'm really impressed with that. I'm just gonna finish with powder on the rest of my face. Then I'm gonna put, um, then I'm gonna try the um, blush. It's so weird trying new makeup because you get, you get into a, like a routine with what, what you like and what works for you and there are some things here I'm trying and I'm like, yes, I like it. And then there are other things like that eyeliner that I'm like, no, I'm not. What colour is this? 306 Attitude. The one thing I haven't tried is this, which is a lip pencil. Colour looks spot on. This looks just like Saw by MAC. You know that sort of mauvey, pinky brown? Let's try. Literally does look like Saw by MAC, which is really good because I've been looking for a cruelty-free version of that for ages. And then the final thing, refreshing makeup fix. I have been using a product that I wanna say is like a miracle product. This is what I've been using and it is so good. This is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray, the oil control one. You could go out in like a thunderstorm and your makeup wouldn't move if you've used this. I'm curious to try this. So what does it say that it does? It is refreshing and it's a makeup fix. Right, let's try. Shake it. Yeah, you gotta shake it. It's a lot finer than this, and it's finer even still than if you normally use MAC, MAC Fix Plus. I feel like whenever I spray that on my face, it's like someone's like tipped a bucket of water at me. It's like, it's so heavy, but this is really fine. It sort of does feel quite refreshing. Oh my God, it looks so matte. I like it, I like it. What do you think? I really like the finished look. And I've just put on my own lashes, by the way, in the style cashmere. These are actually designed to be worn in the day. As my summary, and as the first time of me using these products on myself, I love the foundation, I love the mascara, and I love the skincare. The skincare's actually, I reckon, the best bit about the whole line. Like, in my opinion, the skincare products are everything because I think that if you get your skincare right, your makeup's gonna look amazing on it anyway. And that's one of the things that I'm really noticing with it is that my my skin just, it 
it just feels it doesn't feel i've been wearing this makeup now for like a little while it doesn't feel oily it just it feels matte it feels very comfortable it feels very lightweight but i love the effect of it should i do a quick outfit of the day my shirt is from reese the watch i'm wearing which i'll just give you a quick look at there that's from jord i'll link to everything below like earrings oh my god everything all of the products i've shown you you can get at harrods.com which i'll link below and that is everything thank you for watching